So you finally said yes to statins. Your cholesterol is high. Your doctor insists it is for your heart. But within weeks, your legs start to cramp and ache. You feel weaker. You are told it is normal. Just push through. But what if it is not? What if your muscle pain is your body's way of saying this is not the right drug for you? There are safer and much smarter options. Today, we break it down with real stories, real science, and real solutions that your doctor might not mention. So last spring, a 67-year-old retired Navy vet walked into my clinic. He had a history of stroke and coronary artery disease. He was put on high-dose atrovastatin, 80 mg, two months earlier. But now, he was miserable. He told me, Doc, since I started this medication, I feel like I'm dragging bricks. My muscles ache every morning. I can barely make it up the stairs. So we checked his CK, came back normal, his liver enzymes normal. His cardiologist told him to keep going, that statins don't cause pain unless labs are elevated. But something felt off. So we switched him to a different strategy. And within weeks, his pain improved, his LDL dropped, and most importantly, he got his life back. Therefore, my mission today is we are diving deep into the truth about statin-induced muscle pain, why it happens, what to do, and how to protect your heart without punishing your body. So statins block hemoCoA reductase, an enzyme your liver uses to make cholesterol. So by default, lowering the LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, and this will reduce inflammation in blood vessels. They are the cornerstone of preventive cardiology, but they are not without risk. Statins save lives, but up to 20% of patients report muscle symptoms. Let's go through some terminology here. Myalgia is muscle pain without CK elevation. Myopathy is muscle symptoms with CK elevation. While rhabdomyolysis, this is rare, but severe muscle breakdown. Most statin side effects are reversible, but if, it, if they are got ignored, they can lead to fatigue, loss of mobility, reduced quality of life, poor adherence, that's why people quit statin out of fear or discomfort. There are multiple theories. Number one is mitochondrial dysfunction. Statins may impair energy production in muscle cells. Number two is COQ10 depletion, a nutrient needed for mitochondrial health. Number three is genetic differences like SLCO1B1 variant that impair statin processing. And number four is lipophilicity. More fat-soluble statins like simvastatin or atrovastatin may enter muscle cells more easily. Therefore, not all statins are created equal, and some bodies are more sensitive than others. So what to check? First is CK, creatinine kinase, often normal in mild cases. Number two is liver enzyme, AST and ALT mild elevation with muscle injury. Number three is thyroid function. Hypothyroidism can mimic or worsen myalgia. Number four is vitamin D, low levels linked to muscle pain. And lastly, consider genetic testing if symptoms are severe or persistent. Here are the risk factors. Number one is age more than 65. Number two, female gender. Number three, low PM, BMI or fidelity. And number four is drug interaction, like fibrate, antibiotics, and antifungals. And lastly will be hypothyroidism in addition to high statin dose and history of muscle disorders. But even healthy, fit patients, nobody is immune, can experience symptoms. So in 2023, meta-analysis found that statin-related muscle symptoms in 10 to 25% of users. The risk was highest with high-dose simvastatin and atrovastatin, 
Therefore, lower doses or hydrophilic statins like rosuvastatin or parvastatin had fewer complaints. Samson trial 2020 found that even placebo pills caused pain in some, highlighting the nocebo effect. But the pain was real either way, and addressing it improved adherence. I just mentioned the nocebo effect. What's this term? Well, some muscle pain is psychological, but that doesn't mean it is not real. Just like any other medication, expectation and fear can influence perception. Therefore, it is critical to validate the patient's experience, not dismiss it. Well, step one is reassess and confirm. Check CK, thyroid, and vitamin D to rule out any of this. And timing the symptoms, which statin and what dose. If CK is high, stop statin and reassess. While if CK is normal, but pain persists, consider switch or dose reduction. There are several options. Let's talk about the first option, lower the dose. More statin benefit comes from the first 20 to 30% LDL drop. So a low dose of rosuvastatin, like five milligrams twice a week, may be enough for low to moderate risk patients. What about option B? So we said option A, this is option B, switch to a different statin. We mentioned the hydrophilic statins, less muscle penetration, like parvastatin, rosuvastatin, and the fluvastatin. They are shorter half life, and you can take it in evenings. What about option C? You can add non-statin agents like Lydia. It can block cholesterol absorption in the gut. And Lydia can lower LDL by 15 to 20%. Number two is pimpendoic acid. Next, Letol. Works upstream of statin, less likely to cause myalgia. And then PCSQ9 like Repatha. There are injectables, ideal for high risk patients or statin intolerance. And there is Legview, twice a year injection, new option. And there are plenty of new oral agents under development. What about supplements? You can use them with caution. Number one is COQ10. You can take 100 to 200 milligram daily. Vitamin D, correct if deficient. Magnesium may reduce cramps or soreness. But always discuss with your doctor before combining supplements and statins. Well, Dr. Noni, you forgot about lifestyle. Definitely, lifestyle still matters. Diet, especially Mediterranean or plant forward. Exercise, moderate, not extreme during ac acute symptoms. Sleep is very important. Poor sleep increases pain sensitivity. And they found that fasting can improve lipid markers in some people. Therefore, drugs help, but lifestyle is still foundational. I know you forgot about my Navy vet. What happened to this patient? We switched him to 5 mg rosuvastatin three times a week. We added Lydia and we checked his vitamin D, which was low, was 19. So we corrected that. His LDL dropped to 58, which is actually very good. His energy returned. His tears got easier. His life opened back up. And you know what he told me? This is what he exactly told me. He said, Doc, I thought I had to live in pain for my heart, but you helped me see I can find, I can fight smarter. If any of these sound familiar, you start statins and feel achy or weak. You have been told it is in your head. You are scared to stop statins, but don't want to live in pain. You have a history of stroke coronary artery disease or peripheral vascular disease and want better options, then this video is for you. Statins save lives, but so does quality of life. Muscle pain is not rare and is not imaginary. Therefore, know your options, advocate for yourself, and don't settle. Here at Dr. Noni's Power Lab, we fight disease with science, strategy, and smart choices, not suffering. Like the video if this helped. Subscribe for more smarter, stronger health tips and drop a comment below. 
Have you dealt with statin side effects? What worked for you? Let's protect your heart and keep your strength. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.